Okay, so you're logged into your HubDoc file and you'd like to add another user. How exactly do you go about doing that? So if you click on this little gearbox over here, it brings up a lot of options for you. Um, it automatically brings you up to the Manage Accounts tab, and this is where you would add different bills or um, bank accounts you want it to automatically pull things from. But where we're going to be going today is adding users. So we can invite users right here. So if I want to add a user, I could go like this. And then I get to choose what kind of account that I wish to give them. Upload only means that the person you're granting access to will have the ability to upload files and only have line of sight of those files that they have uploaded themselves. We often see this style um, used for admins within a business. Um, and it's great because they can then use HubDoc as like a virtual filing cabinet. Anytime they send something in, it's automatically going to organize it for them. But they won't have access to any of the bank account connections or bills that are automatically pulling in. There's also standard access, and this gives someone the ability to upload documents, view all documents, um, and then you can customize whether or not they have the ability to publish documents, and that means push things from HubDoc into other software like Xero. Um, sometimes it's backing it up to um, like a Dropbox or something like that. Manage connections means that they'll be able to update which accounts um, things are automatically pulling for. Manage users means that they can choose to add people or not. And you can also just grant read only so that they can see everything but can't change anything. And then of course there's the accountant bookkeeper access. So this is ideal for someone you're adding to your organization who will be doing things within Xero for you. So if you're working with an accountant or bookkeeper, you can see here, HubDoc strongly encourages you to give them this access because there's a lot of things we can do in the back end to try to help you um, customize your settings and make HubDoc work the best that it can work for you. So after you've selected which type of access you want to grant, you just click on send invite and close and you're done and an email will be sent to them, granting them access. Hope that helps. If you have questions, um, you can reach out to us directly if you're one of our clients or prospect. If not, um, please use the comments within this YouTube video and we'll try to answer them when we're available. Have a great day.